Hello everyone, this is Dr. Elias from the Department of Education, Hazara University, Mansera. Today I'm going to, to discuss with you these two interesting concepts and the, their interrelationship, population dynamics and socio-economic development. This is basically a part of, um, of a course that I teach to the MPhil uh, students and that course is Trends and Issues in Education. So let's first explore um, the definition of these two terms and then the interrelationship of these two terms. So let's move forward and see. We can define population dynamics as the branch of knowledge or a branch of study that focuses on the evolution or change in the population of an area or areas in terms of its structure, size and demographics over a period of time. So what is the structure of a particular area or society? What is actually the size uh, or what changes are taking place in the size of that particular population? Um, and so if there is increase or decrease or change in the entire population or um, uh, among the groups of inside that population, this will come in the fold of population dynamics. And socioeconomic conditions basically mean the social, political, and economic status of an individual or a group of individual at a time or over a period of time. So uh, concepts such as developed societies or developed countries, um, which are better than others in terms of socioeconomic conditions. And then we have developing uh, societies or countries that are getting better. And then, then there could be those that are actually going down in terms of their development and, and in terms of socioeconomic conditions. So these are various ways in which we actually look at the different socioeconomic conditions of societies and countries. Population dynamics could further be um, seen in terms of the factors that are related to this uh, interesting concept. Um, these factors actually include um, concepts or um, such as birth rate um, in a particular area of a particular country or of a particular people um, and similarly the increase or decrease in the birth rate and the causes and consequences of that increase and decrease in that particular area and similarly death rate um, how many people are actually dying, at what age they are dying, and what are the causes of the death of these people. Um, and so how many actually, what is the relationship between death and death rate and birth rate? This will also come in the fold of, of population dynamics. Similarly, what are the living conditions of people in particular areas of in a particular population. This, the, the living condition actually means social conditions, political conditions, uh, conditions related to health and education, and so on. This will also come in the, the fold of population dynamics. Similarly, immigration, um, the rate of immigration from a particular area, which means people going out of that particular area will also come in the fold of, pop of population dynamics. Immigration actually coming to immigrating to or coming to particular areas. So the rate of people or the number of people or the kind of people in terms of um, socioeconomic status, in terms of education, in terms of gender as well, in terms of maybe religious or uh, identities and beliefs. So people coming to those particular areas, this will come in the fold of immigration. Um, and so these are the things that are actually studied uh, through this. Uh, uh, th these are the things that are actually included in the fold of population dynamics. So um, population dynamics and socioeconomic conditions. So in this last part of the presentation, I would like to actually um, uh, reflect on the relationship between these two interesting concepts, population dynamics and socioeconomic conditions. 
Um, and so areas with better socioeconomic conditions and areas with low socioeconomic conditions. Uh, let's see these two concepts, the socioeconomic conditions or the impact of socioeconomic conditions on the population dynamics. Usually uh, what will happen is that uh, areas with better socioeconomic conditions will have, may have smaller populations while areas with low, socio, low socioeconomic conditions may have bigger populations. We can see many smaller countries are more prosperous and more developed, uh, uh, smaller countries in, in terms of population in comparison to countries that are bigger and maybe difficult, more difficult to manage as compared to the smaller countries that are better managed. So this is one of the uh, one of the highlights that in many cases smaller countries are um, uh, countries with better socio uh, better socioeconomic conditions, while bigger countries um, in many in in many cases not in all cases are actually um, areas with low socioeconomic conditions. Similarly. Good quality education is another factor that might be associated in terms of areas with better socioeconomic conditions. So areas, countries or societies that provide better quality education are in a position to actually have better socioeconomic conditions. On the other hand, um, low socioeconomic conditions are often a result of low quality education in certain areas or countries. Similarly, areas with better socioeconomic conditions will actually attract people to immigrate to, uh, to them or to those countries. People often, uh, especially skilled people and talented people, um, are people who are persecuted in certain other areas would actually want to go into areas which are better uh, in terms of socioeconomic conditions. On the other hand, uh, people, talented people or people who are in search of better life would often want to go away, go out of the low socio, uh, of the areas or countries with low socioeconomic conditions to those with better socioeconomic conditions. So we can give an example of many Asian countries or many countries in the subcontinent where from people actually emigrate to uh, greener pastures in the more developed West or in America or maybe to other countries such as Canada and Australia. So um, this is immigration or emigration are also factors that are often a result of better socioeconomic conditions and lower socioeconomic conditions in particular areas or countries. And then we have low birth rate and death rate and high birth rate and death rate that can also be associated with the concepts of uh, better socioeconomic conditions and low socioeconomic conditions. Usually areas with low socioeconomic conditions might actually have low birth, uh, might um, actually, have, yes, with better socioeconomic conditions might actually have low birth rates and low death rate because of the better economic conditions or their be better health facilities or their better health awareness and better education system and better social structure. On the contrary, areas with low socioeconomic conditions actually might have high birth rates because of lack of awareness regarding the education and health of young people and might also have high death rate because of lack of health facilities and other such, uh, 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 such difficulties. So overall we can say population dynamics and socioeconomic conditions um, are, is, are actually very interconnected concepts and it is very important for, for students of education and other social sciences and also for social scientists or social researchers 
to actually understand these concepts and and then to think about how these uh, interact with each other and how these two concepts actually um, impact each other and how the society is impacted overall and awareness regarding the population dynamics and its link with the social economic conditions among students and researchers is quite important i hope i uh, this particular presentation might have led to um, many questions in your mind so if you have questions or any comments please don't shy away from sharing those questions in the comment section many thanks for watching take care